Oh! Okay, 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 okay. This is flashes. This flashes overkill. Okay, so. Never. Never one. Without two, right? So. I thought I'd uh, do another one of these. Uh, they're called fake news, etc., Papa T. Get it straight, okay? That's my voice. Yes, my name is Mr. Elephant, and you need to get your shit together, Papa T, okay? Look into my eye. Look into my eye. I never forget, okay? Fake news, etc. All right. Oof, okay, th thank you, Mr. Elephant. Jeez, these, these animals today are so touchy-feely. Um, okay, so... More fella in the background, as you can see. It's the presidential debate going on right now in the Kenyan elections. This is KTN News. In fact, let's listen to a little bit about what, what they have to say. It's very interesting. I'm actually working on my uh, on my African accent, so I listen to these guys to kind of perfect it. In keeping with the best international parties, and have also been aligned with the context of. Oh, this guy speaks good English. Okay, no accent, nothing. Must have been uh, educated abroad. And the rules prescribe that only presidential candidates, duly nominated by their parties and cleared by the IBC, can take part in tonight's debate. And as your moderators tonight, we shall be guiding discussions between the presidential candidates on selected topics that have also... Very stylish, very stylish, I might add, yes. ...campaign teams. The questions are, however, our own and have not been shared with anyone. Nobody. ...in front of a selected audience that includes ordinary Kenyan voters... Ordinary people. ...the debates, no jeering... ...dressed very nicely... ...or any form of applause, except from a moment from now, as we welcome the candidates on stage. Debates. by the format, the candidates for the debate... He's not saying much, this guy here in the corner. And above, ...must be the condensed version. In any recognized recent opinion polls. Okay, okay, let's and go back to this guy with the uh, what color tie is that? Pink? Above pink tie. Ah, President Uhuru Kenyatta of the Jubilee Party and Honorable Raila Odinga of the NASA Coalition. Now, both candidates have been duly invited for the debate, but at this Duly time, invited? He must be South African, the way he's always NASA a Coalition's candidate, Honorable Raila Odinga. Whom we now welcome on stage. Woohoo! Welcome! Let's now put our hands together for Honorable Raila what? Odinga. They gotta be asked to put their hands together. Oh yes, my brother! He bring out his daughter! Hello! Oh, you got the hello over your head. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much. Let's give you the hello. Hello, hello. Now, as we mentioned, we are duly invited the President, who is also the Jubilee presidential candidate for this year. Jubilee! And, uh, the half hour wait was to try and give him ample time to get here if he was on his way. But ample. It is now, ample time. We shall begin the debate and we'll start, we'll start with my colleague, Yuna Stegall. How can you begin the debate? Wait, 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 wait a minute. How can you begin a debate with one person? You need no introduction, so we are going straight. Whoa, 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 how is this a debate? There is only one person on the stage. This is not a debate, my friend. Specifically, Ipsos and Infotech <laughs> released their findings. It's a very nice tie, though, sir. Very nice tie. Debates, K-E. According to Ipsos, 61% of feel the country is headed in the wrong direction. Okay, 61%. Only 27%, according to Ipsos, of Kenyans think the country is headed. Did he say? Yeah. Did he say according to hipsters? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Look up. Or twenty-seven percent. What were you thinking about? Thank you very much. Oh yes. Let's listen. Good Kenyans. And know that. Let's listen to the honourable. With. Oh, little Swahili. Na vile vile kwa ambia ya kwa amba tumekuja hapa kama wa Kenya kuja didiana juu ya shida ambayo mekuma wa Kenya wote kwa jumla na siya tu 
kuja kwa mambo ya upinzani lakini kutafuta suluhu kutuhu kwa yale shida ambayo inasukuma sisi kama wakenya yote karibuni na asanteni sana Okay, Karibuni Asante Seni Sana Sana. Welcome and thank you very much. The opinion poll. He, he, he talked to his fellow Africans, his fellow Kenyans who speak Swahili. Jo, uh, don't just believe that it is the polls that we should be talking about. We talk about the Kenyans themselves, how they, they feel. And I have traveled around this country over the last one month in the campaign. That's it? That's all you traveled to this country? Kenyans are hunting seriously. Uh, the cost of living has gone up very uh, seriously. Nice tie, by the way. Very nice. How much did that cost of living you? Up to now, where we are, the inflation rate has gone up by 40%. 40%? Cumulatively. That is the cost of living 40%. 40%. But the average wage has only increased by 12%. 12%. And this is being failed by the people. That's four and three. That's the yeah, divine number. You are told about Unga. Unga, that's why we call it the Unga Revolution. It's you known that the price of uh, the, the maize meal was uh, 110. It is now 150, 180, sometimes 200. The price of sugar is there 200 for two kilograms. The price of oil. Listen, Canadians, listen. It used to be uh, 36 shillings. It's now 60 shillings. Uh, but they buy it from farmers at 35 shillings. So generally, the Kenyans are justified in feeling that the country is heading down direction. And where do you and fit into this, buddy? It's unemployment. Hmm? And the, that, that issue is corruption. Hmm? Hand movements, okay. Which is actually hurting our economy. No kidding. They run away corruption. What you call mega corruption? Mega corruption. Yes. In my view, the cost of the satisfaction by the people of Kenya. Nice tie. And it paid for that tie. Running for president for the fourth time. If oh. I'm not wrong. Oh. And Here we go. For the fourth time. Listen up, Canadians. This is Africa, okay? Against the backdrop of very sad statistics, if Ipsos and Infotrack findings are to be believed. Especially about the cost of living. I'm gonna place a bet right now, okay? I'm I'm gonna pay out eleven to one that this bobo, not this one, the other guy that was just talking about yada yada yada, is gonna win the election. I mean eleven to one, okay? I'm willing to pay out minimum bets a thousand dollars, okay? Take it or leave it. Listen. Uh, never four without five. No 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 no. He's going into his fourth term. Okay. I am running here. Hmm? Because of my commitment oh. uh, to change this country. Commitment to that time. I, I represent change. Change? Mm. Uh, He's been hanging out with his buddy Obama. You've been talking to Obama. Get some coaching from Obama. Change. Change to our country. Oh, more change. Uh, we, we think that we have a solution to the problems. Oh, uh, four, four terms later. Going to get it right this time. Economy. Uh, that's the reason why the you have got to uh, inflation in the country. Ooh. This government has borrowed, and they borrowed very expensively. Oh, very, uh, very they expensively. Away from the concessional loans, and have gone for. Uh, you are talking nonsense. Uh, you are talking too much. Loans with uh, actually. Tell us how much you pay for that tie, and how many shillings. <laughs> That most of that money has went to paying for your tie. <laughs> uh, uh, what you can say, job creating opportunities in the country to make your tie unemployment right now stands at 40 percent. Oh, 40 again. You have nearly 12 million youths who are on the streets looking for jobs. Oh, we believe that we can find a solution to the, that uh, problem. You believe you can find a solution, but you are not going to find a solution because if you find a solution... From the ethic point of view... Or ethically, if you find a solution, you will not be able to afford that tie. That's but, it. Uh, you like your tie. Be able to turn things around. Oh, turn things around! Oh! Okay, okay, I gotta calm down. So that you can be able to raise sufficient revenue. Whoop. And invest that revenue also properly. Properly. At the moment, 
every shilling that is spent. Every shilling. Another shilling is stolen. Oh yeah. And in the private pockets of the people. Oh, bo, bo, bo. Look, look at it. You're wearing it. Bobo, you are wearing the stolen money from the people. More specifics on your plans. And um, starting with the question of the cost of living. Cost of living, yes. Let's listen up, Canadians. Dismissed as unrealistic in a free market economy like Kenya. You've spoken of reducing rent. You've spoken of reducing the cost of housing. How do you plan? to do that well first of all i've been spending so much time talking about it i haven't actually done any of it fourth term fourth term this is my fourth time i will do it i promise i will do it i will do it i will do it he got him he got him loosen that tie buddy the market the difference is basically that those people are more focused just one small p p uh, portion of our economy. Uh, okay. So what's it called? The uh, yeah, once a bubble, always a bubble. So I'm going to stop it here, get a nice round number.